Jamie, there can't be a lot of information out there on your opponents this weekend. Have you spent all week online looking at Japanese hookers? <laughs> That's a ridiculous comment. Just very had, good, yeah, very good. My Google search history is yeah. interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah. How much do you know about them? Though? No, we no, we ha we've had to. Obviously, like you said, we haven't we haven't seen a lot of them before this week. Um, but we've been doing a lot of research. We've um, some of the pronunciation of the names uh, are interesting. But I, I, you're but, not going to you know, need to worry about that too much. No, though, exactly. Yeah. yeah, but when you're talking about them in meetings, you need to uh, know which player, which what the names of each player. So um, yeah, we've been doing a lot of, lot of research, a lot of analysis, and um, yeah, looking forward to it now. Yeah, Eddie, we know when Japan played South Africa, it encouraged them to play a low game, keep it away from, from the big South African forwards. Has he has he any insight, anything he's saying to you that, that you know, might be being done this week as to how Japan's game might, might look to England? Yeah, I think um, obviously di under different coaches, but both Steve Borthwick and Eddie have got good experience working with those players. So uh, they've got some good inside knowledge for us. And, um, you know, I think the way that, the Japanese game, they like to play a fast game, don't they? I think they've come out and said that this week already, so uh, we're very aware of that. They also kick the ball quite a lot, so um, that's something that we're going to need to be aware of. But look, as, much as, um, as much as we can, we want to introduce our forwards into the game because that's the sort of rugby that we want to play, the traditional English rugby, so um, that's the stuff I like anyway. Yeah, is there an element of the potentially more open and, and faster paced game that, that might have influenced Eddie to select you to start this week, do you think? Uh, I don't really know. I think it was it was probably always the plan for me to play this week. So, um, but like I like the game being open like that. So um, as long as it's not too fast, it'll be all right. What about the opportunities for players ahead of Australia? Because as you say, you were expected to perhaps be selected this week by Eddie. Is it an audition for a starting place against Australia? Has he intimated that he's likely to go back to, to similar selections from, from South Africa and New Zealand? No, I, his messages have been very much, let's see how you go this week, all options are always open. And that's always his message to me. So um, I'm seeing it as a great opportunity for me to try and you know, put my name forward for the next few weeks and, and this big year coming up.